Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back here with a short little video. Um, today I'm gonna be reacting to my very first, um, not my very first. Um, I used to have other videos on this channel. Um, I use it, it. The name used to be um like Snow Space Y, and I had the most cringiest videos. And then um eventually I was just like, oh well, I mean I want to kind of fix up my channel, make it better because literally my videos were the worst that. The worst quality. The lighting was horrible. I literally sounded like a two-year-old, and I just it sucked. None of my video topics were good. So I worked on it and I put those videos private. And I think I actually deleted them. They were that cringe. I could not deal with them. But um, so yeah. So this is the first video on my channel that is visible. How to use an EpiPen, and it's really cringy and it's horrible. Literally. People could probably have seizures from it or get really dizzy because literally my camera is flipping all around. It's really weird. Um, but so, um, yeah, today I guess we're going to, uh, I guess we're going to be, uh, reacting to it. And yeah, so wish me luck. Let's go ahead and begin. Here with another video. I haven't posted. Okay, first thing. First, I can already hear how disgusting my video or my voice is, and I literally cut off the intro. Listen, I I I, <laughs> I literally cut off the intro. Listen, here with another video. Here with another video. Yeah, it's alright. I haven't posted in so so long, but um, today I will be posting how to use an EpiPen. Do you <laughs> my voice? I'm like how to use an EpiPen? It's so weird. <laughs> This is, oh my god. Recently, my brother just got an EpiPen because, uh, he does have allergies to stuff. And this is a trainer one. <laughs> well, obviously, if he got an EpiPen, he has allergies, right? So I was like, uh, why not, uh, show these guys how to use it? Why not? And it's a trainer, so there's no, um, like, uh, possibility of me actually getting a needle inside my thigh. I think it's pretty clear that it's a trainer. Let's go and... <laughs> <laughs> and just, just says trainer there. I think it's pretty obvious. I not uh, show these guys how to use it. And it's a trainer, so there's no, um, like, uh, possibility of me actually getting a needle inside my thigh. But let's... The problem with me doing videos like these is I talk too much. Um, I... A lot of my friends are, um, actually some of uh, people that are subscribed to my channel. And they know me in real life, and they know that I talk a lot, so, um, yeah. And whenever I tend to do, uh, videos like the one that we're watching right now, I kind of, like, I just, like, go on and on and on <laughs> about it. I remember, uh, there was a video that I made, um, and I did a car trick, and it literally took me 16 minutes to, uh, explain one of the most simplest uh, car tricks. And I know I'm talking a lot right now, you probably like, as well just go on with the video, but, uh, just wanted to go and say that, so just know that if you're a subscriber, I talk a lot, so get prepared for that. Let's continue. Just say you guys do have allergies or something and you don't know how to use one, well, this is what this video will be for. And, um, yeah, so make sure you leave a like if this video is helpful, and now let's get right into the video. So I hope the lighting's good. Uh, I can't find my camera stand, so I have to use it with one hand. I can't use my camera stand, so I have to use it with one hand. Um, <laughs> I meant I don't, I can't find my camera stand, so I'm using my hand as a camera stand. That's what I meant. And one hand is free. One hand is free. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and switch hands. And there, it's where it flips around. Like, circles, okay. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I think this is good. Sorry about this. Yes, I should be very sorry that I have to make you guys go through this torture. Okay. So, here, uh, this is what my EpiPen looks like. Yours might be a little bit different. I believe the brand is Teva or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, so let's go ahead and see how to use it. So, you're in a dire emergency or something. Uh, right here, it should say twist. <laughs> Except it won't say it backwards, don't worry. So, uh, sorry. Uh, so it should say, like, twist here. I'm trying to, okay, I think, okay, yeah, I think you guys can see. But you're gonna just go ahead and simply twist it. Whoa! I didn't think anybody knew that you were supposed to twist it. I mean, it's labeled twist, but I don't think anybody knew that. In the direction to go ahead and remove this cap. 
And you can just go and throw it. We're gonna die emergency. <laughs> you can just go and throw it. Huh. So you're just gonna twist it off and probably throw it. And then on here, there's a safety cap for, like, babies and stuff. So, like, if there's, like, a baby, you wouldn't want your baby to... Okay, just get on with it. Uh, like, actually, like, hurt themselves with the, uh, needle. See, this is what I mean. I just, like, I go on. I, I just continue talking and explaining. But I really don't. I All I had to just do was, like, show you how to take the top off. But instead, I go on about how it's dangerous to... Or that babies might accidentally hurt themselves with the EpiPen or something. I don't... Okay. <laughs> anyway, and what, you're gonna go ahead and... Oh, no. Then I start talking about these three lines. Oh, gosh. This is just a disaster. There's, like... Out, uh, the f camera isn't focusing, but, um, like, th like a, a couple little lines you're gonna go ahead and put. Three lines, Isabel, not a couple, three. Push those off, called the safety cap, and then, okay, let me go ahead and. Oh, no, this part is, oh. <laughs> so, this is your thigh? You're gonna... <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. I'm gonna go ahead and take this part and go ahead and jab it in your thigh. Yas queen. Just like that. And then uh, around this area, around that, maybe a little- I think they know how to put an epi pin in their thigh, Isabel. A little bit more back, like here. But once you've gone ahead and done that, you can just go ahead. You're gonna hold it firmly, just like this, pushing pressure down for- I don't really think you have to push pressure down, but okay. Three seconds, and then, um, yeah, it'll be in. And it also, like, goes ahead, locks itself so it can't go, the needle can't go anymore. So it's like a one-time use uh, thing. So once you use it, it's done, and you cannot use it for any more. And, uh, alright. I don't think you really had to explain what a one-time use is, but okay. So, a nice little prank to do is, like, if you just- Oh, yeah, I never even did this prank. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you'll see. But, yeah, I never did the prank. Let's get EpiPins. This is what I'm gonna- I'm gonna attempt to record this, but I'm gonna prank my dad. I'm gonna be like, so, Dad, this is how you use the EpiPin. And now, I'm not saying that I am going to, but I will- yeah, I never did. Try, but it's a really fun prank and stuff. Like, you can just go ahead and, like, kind of, like, cover up the trainer section and be like, so this is how you use the EpiPen. Go ahead and, like, twist the thing off, pull the blue cap on, and just go and jam it into your legs. Oh, sorry about my Crocs. <laughs> oh, sorry about my Crocs. Pushes to the side. Okay. No, just use those over there. But, yeah, you just go ahead and jab it into your leg, and they're like, oh, no, no, don't you use it. And then you can be like, hey, it's a prank, got you. But, anyways, that is how you use I think they, I think if I even did it, I think my dad would see the label trainer. But, you know, A for effort, which I never even did it, but A for thinking. Yeah. Okay. The EpiPen. And make sure to leave a like if this was helpful. Do not leave a like. And, uh, till next video, peace out. <laughs> what was that? Whoa! What was that? Okay, well, that was, um, I s that was very cringy, and literally, I can't believe I thought that this, these kinds of videos would help me not, not, the only music that's in the background is radio music. I, and it's, it's so, it's faint, like, you can barely even hear it, but no, no editing, any of that. The camera literally can give you a seizure. Probably have to call 911 just because of this video. And then it's just horrible. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying that my videos are really good now, but they're way better than that. Or way better than videos like this. So, I think it's safe to say that this video sucks. Um, if you like these kinds of videos well, where I react, I'll do a video of me reacting to my next video. Or like my second to first video no second to last video oh okay i can't speak but you know uh the video that i posted after this um if i can but yeah so okay well um i guess that's all it's very very sad video okay but uh yeah so i'm probably gonna stop talking now again sorry for talking a lot i don't know i just talk a lot but yeah so uh until I see you next time, I guess, peace out. Also, make sure to go ahead and view my 
newest videos. I posted two videos today. Um, one of them was like a uh, a montage. I made a Glee montage and I made a really bad montage called a Snowy montage. It was a black and white, or there's a the, not a black, a white or gray. I think it was a gray version and then the color version, and um, they weren't really cool. They just had like it was like a slideshow. But now I made a real montage with like upbeat music and like all kinds of stuff. You just go and view. I'll put the links in the description. So I have one of my cat, and some of you may not know that I have a bunny. Um, I posted a video a couple like last Christmas, um, Christmas 2020, and I got a bunny named Midnight. But she got pregnant, and we had to give her back. And then we waited a little bit, and then she had babies, and I got to get or got to adopt one of her babies, and that's or I named her Marley. I don't know what her actual name was, but she was so tiny. And the last photo that I put in the montage, not the outro, because I have an outro with the footage photo. Sorry, um, but the one in act. In the actual montage, the last one, it's an Easter photo, and that's when I, that was close to when I got her, and she's so tiny in that one, and it's just so cool because you don't really realize things growing up or like that they're growing up until you like look on like look about the I cannot talk, look at photos from like when you first got them, and you're like oh my gosh they changed so much, and it's like mind blowing. It's like with my I. Now, I haven't really seen any photos from when I first got my cat, because we didn't really take photos then. But with my bunny, I took like a couple f or a bunch of photos with her and whenever I first got her. And I can tell that she's gotten so much bigger and she's starting to grow. So it's really cool. If you guys have a pet, you might, and uh, if you're soon getting a pet or something, like just go and take some photos of them. Like when you first get them and just like wait for a couple years to pass by or i mean i've only had her for like probably less than a year you can just wait for like a couple months to go by and you can compare them you would be like oh my gosh it's so different and if they don't change i don't really think my cats change except she got fatter but um if they do change cool but yeah so um probably gonna go now um so yeah, uh, like I said, go and leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you like these kinds of videos. If you do, also go and drop a like, or I mean, <laughs> drop a like. No, uh, drop a comment below saying that you like these and I'll do another video. Also, um, I watched another one of my videos that is the Adopt Me Winter uh, Update thing. And I was using the discussion section as like a shout out thing, but uh, I'm probably just going to move it to if you want a shout out, just go ahead and... But, like, I don't know, a lot of YouTubers do this, like, to, like, leave a like and hit the subscribe button and then put done when you're done, and then you can get a shout-out. I guess I'll just do that, because it's really popular and stuff, so, if you want a shout-out, go and drop a like and hit the subscribe button. And, if you haven't, it, or if you already have liked this video and hit the subscribe button, or whatever video, uh, just go and put the notification bell on and just go and put done when you're done and then i will view it and i will give you a shout out in my next video even if they're like montages like the one that i just posted um i'll still like go and put like at the end also shout out to blah 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 blah. so yeah so um again sorry for just going on this literally the video how to use an EpiPen is 3 minutes and 19 seconds and as of right now i've been recording for 14 minutes uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna end this now, but, um, yeah, so, if you want a shout out, go and leave a like, hit the subscribe button, if you've already done that, and go and hit the notification bell, if you've done all that, just go and put done in any of my videos, and then I'll go and give you a shout out, um, also links in, again, links in the description for my montages, and until then, peace out, people, alright, peace out.